Welcome again. My name is Michael Griffin. I'm the, the president and CEO, the, the founder of Cloudlook, and thank you very much for joining us. I hope over the next 45 minutes or so to give you a really good overview of Cloudlook, help you understand why we're different, why we've been so successful in the marketplace, and to help you appreciate some of the unique features that Cloudlook offers. All right, so let me get rolling here. So the first thing we'll start with is an understanding of just what is Cloudlook. Many of you are new to Cloudlook. You don't know what exactly what we you know what we do. You, you may have heard the name. So let me let me give you some understanding of what Cloudlook's all about. So first of all, Cloudlook is typically referred to as the industry's most used, most widely used all-in-one CRM solution. So let me kind of decode that for you. So CRM, what, what is a CRM? Customer relationship management tool. This is kind of a newfangled term, I guess so in the last decade or so, of what used to be called contact management. A CRM, a contact manager, is a tool whose fundamental role in your business is to organize relationships, help you build relationships, help you track people, your calendar, um, sometimes a pipeline. That's kind of the generic definition of, of a CRM. Cloudlook is a, is a special type of CRM in, in that it's, it's dedicated to a single industry, you know, commercial real estate, as I'll, as I'll tell you about uh, in a few minutes. Cloudlook, uh, we call it an all-in-one solution because it does, it does just about everything that your business needs in, in one place, aside from, you know, data research. And, and in terms of being the most used, there's, there's nothing I think you're going to find out there that's more actively used and more highly adopted than Cloudlook with regards to any technology tool. It's something we really pride ourselves on. It's something we work really, really hard to accomplish. So Cloudlook was founded in, in 2009. And let me, let me give you a kind of two-minute background of how we actually got to, to this point. So, so I started uh, as a commercial real estate broker, much, much like you. Uh, it was my first job out of college. I grew up in the Midwest, moved to California. And, and lo and behold, when I got my first job and they basically said, you know, here's your desk, here's your phone, I was, you know, s sort of at a, at a loss in that I, I didn't know the market. I didn't know the geography, the streets, the history. I was learning the basics of commercial real estate. I had a business degree, so that came a little easy, but uh, I had a lot of information that I was trying to organize. So back then, I used a tool called ACT, and some of you may recall ACT, ACT. It was, it was, it was the most preeminent desktop-based solution, meaning that, you know, you bought a disk, you install it on your computer, and you know you kind of had your whole world there in this system. So I, I had I had this ACT system, and I customized it for commercial real estate. And then I realized that there was a market for this sort of customized version of ACT that I created, and I, I created a company called Aries for ACT, and built it up over a number of years and sold it to CoStar. So my roots in CRM, in contact management, go back go back as far as anyone. I spent a lot of years at CoStar, then I finally left Cloudlook again to, uh, to create an, a new application. And when I was sort of wrestling with the idea of you know, how to deliver the CRM to the marketplace, I thought hard about using another base application like ACT or something like Salesforce as an example, as the platform that I would build upon, but ultimately rejected that because there are just too many limitations, too many compromises you have to make when you ride on top of somebody else's creation. So, so that's why we call Client Look a native commercial real estate app. It is designed from the ground up entirely and solely for commercial real estate professionals. Every button, screen, link, every feature you're gonna see in, in the demonstration is focused on maximizing the productivity and the success of commercial real estate professionals. So we get asked this all the time. Who uses Client Look? Like, what's your prototypical user or your target? And we really don't have one in the sense that we're not chasing certain specialties like we're an investment, uh, investment tool or a tenant rep tool. We, we have users from every facet of the business, from the individual user to the team to the giant organizations and enterprise uh, rollouts for, for every type of specialty, for just about every different kind of method and, and workflow that you can come up with. So we, we have something for everyone. So I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that uh, late last year, we were 
we were bestowed with a couple of awards through CRE Tech, which is the um, the big commercial real estate um, uh, kind of trade show organizer and and, and uh, provides a lot of news and information on the technology uh, you know, industry in, in commercial real estate. And they polled all their users and they gave us two great awards, which we're really proud of. One was the best overall real estate tech site, as I stand here with the with the award. And the second is most innovative real estate tech CEO um, for me. So we're really proud of those, and there aren't a lot of industry awards that come out. So the fact that we actually won the ones, you know, the, the kind of the very few that are out there, uh, we're really, really proud of. So Client Look has exploded over the last couple of years, and, and we like to measure our kind of uh, kind of growth in terms of geography. And, and this number just keeps going up in 1,800 cities now in nine countries. It's, it's a lot of fun to see. So let me touch on one last thing here before we get into the demo, which is important, important for you to appreciate, regardless if you're new to Client Look or if you're an existing user. And one of the things is that our kind of core belief is that we want to innovate. We want to help drive success through new and novel features and workflows that we create. We don't want to um, you know, try to try to jerry rig an existing solution, like I described as I had done with ACT. We don't want to, uh, you know, try to reinvent or modernize some sort of legacy tool. We want to create new and exciting innovations and applications that really help the industry in 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 brand new ways. So, so here's a few points, few a few uh, kind of suggestions and indications of the things that we've done that are totally unique to client look and then you're not gonna find anywhere else. And the first is a virtual assistant service. So one of the things that we discovered a few years into client look was that, wow, you know, we have this very robust CRM system and, and people are filling it with all kinds of data, but it takes a lot of time. And, and I'm, I'm the first person to tell you that like, in, in order to successfully use a CRM, you have to devote an hour or two a day. And this is not, Client look. This is any sort of uh, you know relationship building tool. And I'll also be the first guy to tell you that most of the kind of busy work that a CRM would require you to do is not worth your time. And that's not to say that the payoff for doing that kind of work isn't isn't transformative and won't won't increase the, the likelihood of success of your your business exponentially. But it's the actual function of you sitting at a desk and instead of making calls to your clients or doing a property tour, you're sitting there keying in the business cards that you collected from the morning. Or you're spending your evenings instead of with your family, you are keying in all of the details of the meetings that you had during the day, which is something you want to do. So what, what's the solution? Well, you hire an assistant. Get yourself an assistant to be your data entry person. And they shadow you and they do, you know, basically everything you do. And their job is to allow you to uh, you know, focus on deal making while, uh, while they do all the data entry into your CRM. Sounds great, right? But uh, the downsides of that are it's super expensive. It's a little overkill right? <laughs> to, to buy a technology tool. And they'd also have to hire somebody to run it for you. Um, but th these are th those sorts of ideas are not unheard of with other CRM solutions. So here was our solution. Our solution was to provide you this outsourced team of virtual assistants who can do this sort of work for you. And I'm going to show you lots of examples as we go through the demo of where the, the virtual assistant could have done what I'm showing you in lieu of you actually doing it. But this is the way that you leverage your time like nothing else. This is the way that you gain all the benefits of a CRM without impacting your normal business workflow. And, and honestly, it's one of the ways that CloudLook achieves such tremendous adoption is because of the fact we don't require this huge time burden in order to gain the benefits of our solution. All right, data sharing. So, and if they tell you these things, and if you're considering other solutions, make sure you ask other people about these, these questions. Data sharing and, and the way that ClientLook has architected the system, to me, is, is a critical part of the way anybody works. And, and here's what I mean. 
when you put a contact into a record uh, and you add updates to that record, notes, or you add activities or files or emails or whatever, you need to have control of how that information is made visible to other team members, or even if you're a single user, to potentially your clients. Most applications don't have any sort of concept of data sharing, or it's very rudimentary, or it's sort of all or nothing. You share this entire record, this entire company, and everything you ever contribute to it gets shared with anybody who has access to it. That's not the way commercial real estate works. So CloudLook has developed this very simple and intuitive system for allowing you to share data the way that our industry needs uh, in order for you to be effective. So along those lines, deal collaboration is another thing that we really excel at. And by this, I mean, you know, you have clients and you have an obligation with those clients to communicate with them. It doesn't matter what specialty you are, landlord rep, tenant rep, investment sales, whatever. You have a need to convey information to your client. And, and we've heard the term war room in the past and things like that. And there are, there are entire companies set up around this, like BTS and Hightower and those sorts of guys. The problem with all of those third-party solutions is they require redundant data entry. For any of the, any people who have used those solutions, you know that can be a real pain because you're doing whatever you're doing in your CRM or whatever other application, and then you have to kind of flip over to those other tools and re-key your activity for the sake of your client. So our belief is that every activity, everything you do within ClientLook should be able to be exposed to your clients to minimize the amount of, of redundant work that you have. So for example, you have a property tour, you, you enter into client look, the details of that tour, um, you can check a little box and your client, if you give them access, can log in and, and view this, this information. So what, what's kind of the big, the big payoff for this? Well, a couple of things. First, fundamentally, is that you will win more business. The fact that you can describe this level of service, this level of transparency to your clients is differentiating like nothing else. It will, it will help you in business. Client look users do this day, day in and day out. The second is it just makes it so much easier for you to get a deal done because you can go to one place and you have all this deal information and I'll show you how this works. But the fact that you can then flip a switch, give your client access to it, it means they can self-serve their need for information is, is, is super powerful. Now, intuitive searching, I'll, I'll, this is really important, and it's a problem that, that doesn't get solved in other solutions. And, and here's the thing. You spend a lot of time contributing a lot of data to your CRM. The fact that you can't then mine that data for opportunities means that you're, you're significantly um, limiting your benefit from all this work that you're doing to put stuff into this repository in the first place. So Cloudlook searching is made to help you find the needle in a haystack that you might, you know, might need for some sort of opportunity. So, um, so if you dig into uh, our system, you can see more examples of that. So th this is the last thing I'll touch on, which is our support. So I don't know if you had experience with other products, you know, and just even in other industries, but support to us is, is one of the foundations of our success. And we take this really, really seriously. We strive to have a relationship with each of our subscribers, as, as difficult as that may sound with thousands and thousands of people. We try. And we, we, we have this sort of burning desire to see our subscribers be successful. And the way for us to do that is through you know, the, the best levels of support that we can provide. So if you go to our website, you'll see a reviews link up, up at the top. And you'll see a, you know, pages of, of positive comments and things that, that people have, have told us that we're doing the right way. And we take everybody's criticism, everybody's suggestions to heart. So we're always looking for ways to change and to, and to develop. But this is this is one of the places in which we excel. So if you've ever had a negative experience with another company, know that you won't have that experience with us. So what does this all sort of culminate with? Well, last year, ClientLook's renewal rate was 99%. So to put that into perspective, that means that effectively 99 out of 100 of your past clients for their next deal came back to you. So in, in, the, in the 
kind of recurring revenue business in the subscription world, this is really good. And it's, it's another one of those measures that we take seriously. We talk about this every week. We look at this and we scrutinize this, but we're super proud of the fact that we're, we're doing the right things to keep people on board with us. Okay, with all that said, let's jump into a, a demonstration of client looks so I can prove to you some of the things that I've, I've just described. So th this is kind of the flow. We're gonna talk about contacts and properties and listings and deals and updates and, and even some marketing. And I'll give you a look at our, our mobile app as well. So let, let's jump in here. So this is the context module. I've logged into ClientLook. So ClientLook is available anywhere you can get internet access. It doesn't require an app. You can log in via your phone, via your tablet, through any browser, at home, at work. It doesn't matter. So you log in, you have your data stored in ClientLook. There's nothing you need to download, nothing you need to install, and boom, you've got access to your people. So the question, Big question is how do these how do these people get here? Well, the, the most fundamental way is through importing. So uh, you have a list that you export from Outlook or some other CRM that you were using, and you can send that list to us. We will gladly import that data for you. You can import yourself if you choose to. There's a little import wizard. You can manually add records. The big add a new contact button up here. In the upper right, you see that right there, add a new contact. So you click that to fill out the fields, or you can send information to the virtual assistant. So here's an example. You go to a meeting and you collect a handful of business cards. Throughout the course of the day, these just keep stacking up. And if you were if you were like me as, as a broker, then you'd come back at the end of the day and you'd sit there at your desk and you'd key all this stuff in. And so the client look user receives a business card takes a picture of it with their phone and emails it to the virtual assistant. And you can even scroll a couple of notes on there, you know, schedule a follow-up call for me next week, um, put into my prospect group, whatever. The virtual assistant team receives that image or images, accesses your account virtually, keys in the information, sends you an email to confirm it's done. So you are, you are now officially out of the manual data entry business. So that, that's really powerful. All right, so, uh, oh, one, one thing before we get started. Look in the bottom right corner of the screen. See this little icon here? If you click that, it gives you access to um, all of the, the kind of correspondence that you've had with our support team in the past. This is like a direct link into our support services team, virtual assistant team, support services team. And the idea is this, if you ever have a question you're in the context list and I wanna know how do I import data? You can go here, you can ask a question and you will get a response back both in our application, in the mobile application and in, uh, in via email. And then it contains a thread of every uh, you know, question that you've ever been answered in the past. So you can always go to refer to this. So when you see that button, you'll know what that, uh, what that means. Okay, let's jump down to a context record now and I'll give you kind of a day in the life of a client look user as it relates to building relationships. So here's Jessica. And if you look in the upper left corner, you see Jessica Anderson, you see her title, her company. She is an owner and also a tenant. Okay, if I look down the left side of the screen, I see basic information like phone number, email, et cetera. So this is where you come to figure out how to contact somebody or to, to look at you know, what their, their, you know, their category is and their status. If you scroll down the page and you look on the left side of the screen here, you see custom fields. This is where you can create any sort of custom information that you might want for um, your account. Client look, you know, off the shelf comes fully configured, but you can tweak it and massage it and, you know, customize it to be suitable for whatever specialty, whatever amount of field data that you might want to track. So those are some examples there. Now, if I look over here to the right in the updates tab, Okay, you'll see this place here for me to add an update. And then as we scroll down the page, you'll see a bunch of updates that were you know, logged in, in the past. So how do updates get in here? Well, if I'm talking to Jessica, I could just key in an update there. I spoke to Jessica, we discussed the deal, schedule a follow-up call for next week and hit add and you're done. You can also uh, delegate update adding to the virtual assistant. So let's say I met with Jessica at her office. And now I'm racing off to my next meeting. So I call the virtual assistant voicemail and I say, hi, this is Michael Griffin. I just met with Jessica Anderson and, you know, log the following update and schedule a follow-up call for her, you know, in two weeks. 
The virtual assistant receives my voicemail, the team does, they access my account and they perform all of my requests, they send me an email when it's done. So think of the efficiency now, nothing falls through the cracks. You log all this information, but it's not taking up your time. The other big way that information gets into the updates tab is via email. So if you're like most people, you struggle with organizing emails. You have a bunch of folders and you, you know, you're you trying to organize things and you're always going to send items and reviewing stuff. And so Cloudlix sort of solves all that problem in a couple of ways. The first of which is through this contact email. In the middle of the screen, you'll notice this little command here, BCC or forward any contact email to this long email address. So if I were to click email me a vCard there in the center, it would allow me to add um, my client look email address to Outlook or to my phone. So here's how it works. So now I compose an email and I send that email to um, Jessica. If I BCC my client look email address, it will attach that email to Jessica's record, including the file attachments. And it works with multiple recipients. So not just one person, I can have a, you know, 10 people up there and it will link the common email to all of their records. And the other you know, cool thing about this is that it works from anywhere. It's, it's ubiquitous, it works from Gmail, it works from Outlook, it works from your phone, it works from your tablet, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, all you have to do is BCC Cloudlook and, it, and everything takes care of itself. Activities are where you're gonna schedule the next thing. So one of the things that we suggest to people is that when you've completed a call or a meeting or whatever, that you schedule the next thing. And in fact, ideally, everybody in your, your account has something scheduled for them so that you're showing up on a Monday morning and you're just, you're just doing what Client Outlook tells you to do each day because it's gonna feed you those prospecting calls or those follow-up calls, whatever, each and every day so that nothing, nothing ever um, you know, gets missed. So the Properties tab shows you the relationship that a person has with properties. So we're gonna to get to properties next, but the idea is you call a contact and you have a few minutes with them on the phone. You need to have at your fingertips as much information as possible to make you sound like an expert. As much information as possible to help you take advantage of the opportunity that you've been given to converse with this person to identify some potential. You know, is there a potential acquisition or a sale or a lease or whatever? Part of that is understanding the current kind of property relationship somebody has. The relationship could be they are a tenant in one or more properties, or they own properties, or they've sold properties in the past. The way this, this little table works here is you see the three properties, and then the, the over on the right side, you see a relationship column, and you see tenant, prospect, tenant. So you can link people to buildings and then define how you want the, the, the sort of relationship to appear. Here's how it works. If I click the related property button at the top there, I get this little pop-up and it says, okay, what's the address of the property you wanna relate this person to? So the assumption here is I have a property in Client Look under the following address. So I type in Live Oak. It says, okay, is this property in Daytona Beach? Yep, that's the one. I select it. And then it asks me, okay, what's the relationship or the relationships that you'd like to specify? So I can click into that field and get a little pop up there and I can you know, indicate that she's the, the broker, the investor, the owner, or the tenant, whatever. And, and, oh, and in general, anywhere you see a pop up list in client look, it's, it's customizable. So these, these are standard values, but you can change whatever you want. But let's say that I choose tenant. So when I do that, you see a new feature that we introduced into Client Look late last year that, that is a, a really simple but very advanced tenant tracking system. So when you indicate that a contact or a company is a tenant, it will prompt you for what it needs to basically identify opportunities with that tenancy. It needs to know the suite, the floor, the amount of occupied space, and the lease expiration. So you fill in those details, then you click OK, and you're done. So now, as you'll see here, we've got Live Oak in Daytona Beach, now related. Here's the tenancy information that we added and the relationship as, as a, a tenant there. So over time, you can see properties that someone's related to that they were related to in the past, but you will create this very proprietary and very valuable history of relating people and properties together. Deals, we're gonna talk about in a minute. This is the, 
the, the transactions that Jessica is associated with. And then this is the marketing tab. So we have an integration currently with uh, MailChimp, which is a, a popular email system. And it lets you send emails through ClientLook. And then it will attach all of the, uh, the activity, the uh, kind of engagement statistics back to the context record so that I can pull up a contact and say, okay, we've sent this, this woman uh, 15 campaigns. She has a 7% open rate and a 7% click rate. And I can scroll down and see everything the person has been sent and even see the links that they've clicked on. And then groups are our client looks way of helping you better organize or segment big giant lists. So, so here's the way that you're gonna end up working. You're gonna accumulate all this stuff over time, you know, hundreds, thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of people and properties and whatever. And groups helps you to segment them to say, okay, you know, let me create a group called my holiday card list. And then I'm gonna put people into that group selectively. So then I can pull up my contact list and say, just give me the holiday card people and bam, up they come. So this, this page here indicates the four groups that uh, Jessica is currently related to. Okay, so that was contacts. The next thing we're gonna talk about is client looks capabilities to help you track properties. So in as much as the typical CRM helps you build relationships with people, client look as a commercial real estate CRM goes a, a step further in that it introduces lots of commercial real estate specific features. One of those is a properties module. So our goal is to help you create relationships with properties, just like you would with people, to make you an expert in a property uh, so that you are able to discover opportunities you know, in matching people and, and properties together one way or another. So the question here is, how do these properties get into client look? Well, typically we, we import them from some third party source. You send us a spreadsheet, you import that spreadsheet yourself from a uh, a third party provider from a database that you have had in the past, whatever the case is, you've now got these properties in Cloud Link. And, and to be clear, this is not meant to be every property in your market. Okay, there are 150,000 industrial properties in the Southern California market here. I would never consider putting 150,000 properties in Cloud Link. I would put in the 2,000 properties on the west side of Los Angeles that I consider to be my territory. I want to know those properties intimately. And the best way to do that is to have records for them in cloud. So let's jump into a property and I'll show you some of the uh, details. Oh, here, here's an example actually first of how we add it and then we jump into the property record. So this is Coal Center, Newport Beach. So this is a office building you'll see up at the top. It says, uh, it was a, it's an office building. Uh, this is property type, property subtype. It's 308,000 square foot exist, existing property. So it has a variety of tabs, just like a context record. And uh, the, the tabs reveal to you all kinds of details about improvement information, year bill, et cetera, et cetera. These are all details that I've put into this property record. And over time, I can change this stuff. Uh, if they improve the property, if the, you know, the class changes or degrades, I can change that. I can add features that I might not have. And, and, and the goal is that I want to be able to pull up this property and, and know everything that, you know, is important to help me make a deal on the site. Oh, and you look on the right side of the screen, you'll see um, some details of RPR Analyst Pro. These are some of the integrations. Clientlook has lots and lots of integrations, so you can find those on our website. These are a couple of examples of the ones that integrate into property records that provide demographic details and some financial analysis. Really, really great stuff. Okay, so let's click through now to uh, the updates. So updates that you might add to a property uh, include things, I don't know, property tours or details about uh, the property that you read in the news, you can attach files. You can also relate updates that you've added to a context record to a property. So imagine pulling up a property and seeing a list of everybody you've ever toured through that property here. Every conversation you've ever had with the owner or the owners over time in this tab here. So one of the things that ClientLook is really good at is kind of stitching information together. And I'll show you an example of that in a few minutes. But the again, the intention is to give you as much detail and information as possible to help accelerate your deal making. Activities, when you schedule things, you can relate them back to properties. And then there's availability. So part of what ClientLook helps you organize is, is your listing data. 
And this isn't meant to be other people's listings. This is really an internal listing management module. We'll jump to that next year. But this is this is the availability for sale and for lease within this current property. So this says that I have you know, three different suites available and it gives you the details of, of those. The, both the files tab and the next tab I'm gonna show you images are representations of digital stuff. Stuff that in the past, you may have printed and put into some big you know, folder. Um, you know, uh, paper-based stuff. So one of the things that Client Look users, you know, s start to evolve in their thinking is is to 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 migrate to a digital kind of footprint when it comes to property detail tracking. This means every financial analysis, comp report, brochure, anything that you might want to keep about a property, you will store here in the files tab forever. There's no, there's no size restrictions, there's no uh, capacity limits that you have. So you wanna put this stuff here so that again, when you come to this property, you have everything you might ever need to understand what's happened with this property in the past and, and understand photos and site plans and all that sort of stuff. Images is the same sort of thing. You know, uh, This is something that we're, we more commonly think of digitally these days, but files are, are you know, just as good. So the people tab in a property is the way that you, you uh, view the people that are associated with this building. This is important because you want to be able to pull up a property and over time see a stacking plan of all the tenants in the property. If you're a you know, tenant rep or even a landlord rep person involved with office properties, you want to see the owner or the former owner or property manager or whoever you choose. But in the upper right corner, you see the big relate a contact button. And you can click this and it will step you through relating a contact to a property, just like we did back on, that, on Jessica's contact worker, we related her to a property, it works the same way. But the, the benefit here is when I pull up this property, I can quickly get a view of other you know, relationships, other people. So if I have a prospect, I know, you know kind of where to go with this. Okay, these are deals that we might be working on within a property, um, marketing campaigns that we sent, and of course, groups, the way to subdivide big lists of properties down into something more manageable. So let me touch on now listings. We've talked about contacts. We've talked about how important tracking properties is. Now we're going to talk about listings. So this is fundamentally your internal corporate listing management module. You will plug a listing into here and or use the virtual assistant to do your data entry for you. And it helps you to understand uh, the availability that you have. Who has that availability? What's the breakdown between office and industrial? Uh, and and uh, what we're working on right now for summer release is a comps module. So you will transition these listings into comps uh, very, very soon. So there's kind of a workflow that's going to be involved with that. So let me show you some of the details of, of a listing here. So we've got availability tab. If it's multi-tenant, there's a spaces tab. So you can add one listing, multiple spaces, property information. You're just reusing this from an existing property record. There's no redundant data entry here. And then there's people. These are the listing brokers, uh, the people that are engaged with this, this assignment in, at your company. We can track all the deals and the offers and everything that comes in, files and images, of course, and then publish. So, so this is where we have a growing list of third-party uh, kind of syndicators, people that you can do do stuff with your data. So the, the current one we have is build out. We've, we've had English with build out for the last couple of years. It works great. So if you're a build out subscriber, you can maintain your listing information in cloud. Look, check that little button there. And every time something changes in this listing that you've added or the virtual system changes, it will send it up to build out. So you always have your most current information there. And again, the goal is eliminate redundant data entry. There's no reason for you to type this information multiple times. You put it into Client Look once, and then you can use it in other uh, places. All right, let's talk about deals now. So you've got your contacts in. You've related people and properties together. You've got a listing, and now you want to track everything that goes on with that assignment. Okay, so it doesn't, a, a deal doesn't have to be a listing. A deal is any sort of assignment that you might come up with in your business. So as you pull up the deals list and you look at these comms, you say, hey, that looks a lot like a pipeline. And it's true. Deals are also the way that you track your pipeline, you and your entire teams. Uh, what, what's the value of the deal? When's it going to close? What's the current status? What's the probability? 
So that, you know, you can you can see that there. You can export this out to you know something like Excel, do all kinds of analysis. But this is where you can understand and and keep your eye on those things that are most profitable or you have the highest probability of closing. So let's jump into a deal now. I'll, I'll give you some of the the major features here. So this is one of the places that CloudLock is is entirely unique. In that, everything that you contribute to CloudLock can be basically tagged to a deal. Every call that you log, every meeting you hold, every property tour. So imagine there's no redundant data entry. You enter things once, you tag them to one or more deals, and then they appear here in this deal file. One of the ways that information flows into the deals, which is unique as well, is via email. If you look in the middle of the screen here where it says BCC or forward deal emails to this long email address. So every deal that you have in CloudLook has its own dedicated email address. So if you think about it, most of the email you send has something to do with some assignment, some deal that you have. And chances are you're going through great lengths to try to organize those emails in some sort of folder or an Outlook or whatever. Um, and it's, it's probably a challenge. So client look makes that entirely unnecessary. So here's how this works. You create an email. You have a list of recipients. You might attach some files. And instead of BCCing your, your, your general client look email address, you BCC the deal that the email corresponds to. So now that email goes out, it gets attached to all the people and it gets attached to the deal. So as you look at the update tab for a deal, you're gonna see every property tour, every phone call, every prospecting inquiry, whatever for a deal. You're also gonna see every email sent or received for the deal in one place. Every file, it's, it's all here. So this is the way, this is the modern way to organize your deal you know, correspondence, not with folders or, or through your email system. Activities tells us all the activities that are a pending for a deal. So this is a great place you can go in and schedule activities and, and even delegate them to other people if you're in a team environment. So, and this is the kind of roster of pending things so I can see who's gonna decide what, and you know, what, what the status is with all that. Then the people tab is where I see the list of all the prospects for this deal. Every, every time I talk to somebody that, that I you know, consider to be a prospect one way or another, or every site that I'm considering for my tenant or for my buyer, uh, I can relate those people here. And the relationship type would be they are a prospect um, or any other sort of designation I, I might want. I will also connect into this tab my clients. Okay, so when I look at this tab, I see, oh yeah, those are my, my two clients, Joe and Bob. And when I add those people, if I choose, I can give them access to this deal for free through through the web. So what happens is this, I add uh, Don Anderson to uh, this deal, and when I do so, I say I wanna give Don uh, access to this deal as of what we call a collaborator. Don will get an email, and it will say, Michael invited you to this deal. So Don can then click this little link, he can then log into this deal, just this deal, nothing else, and see the activity that I've chosen to share with them. Because remember, we have that really unique sharing capability that is described in the beginning of the presentation. So I can designate that I want to show Don some stuff and I don't want to show him other stuff. But the point is he can now self-serve his need for information. So again, this is a way that client like users are winning business. And if you're competing against client to client with users and you're losing, chances are they've presented this sort of solution um, and it really sounds cool. But here's the reality. You're going to have clients that just won't log in. You're going to have clients, first of all, who are just so you know, tech challenged that they, 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 they don't even use a computer. So for that, that's okay. ClientLook can generate a report. So you use ClientLook to track all of your deal activity, and then you use this report to, to send to them. Email, heck, you could fax it or print it and go and hand it to them if you wanted to. Then you're going to have those people who will log in, and you don't have to worry about those guys. They log in all the time, and they're super engaged, in, you know, and they love it. Then you're going to have a, have a third uh, tech-savvy group that just, forgets to log in. And what, what we're trying to do and help you do with Client Look is to stay relevant with your clients because you're doing lots of stuff. And Client Look is gonna collect lots of stuff. So for your client to log in, they would be blown away with the amount of activity that you're, you're generating. 
So we created this mechanism where you can click a button and basically send out a notification to all of your clients for all of your deals if you wanted to that basically says, hey, Don, I now have updates available to you. Click this button and review it. They click a single button, no login, no password. They're taken to the deal, whether they're on their phone or they're on their computer, and they can, they can view all your activity. It's super easy, super engaging, um, and it's a, it's a kind of one-off email that you send, and you do it on a kind of a regular basis. All right, these are marketing campaigns that we've uh, sent out and we've attached to this deal. And then these are groups again, just like every other uh, record. All right, so let's let me let me delve into a little bit about the intricacies of the sharing and the activity linking and and, um, and talk about updates. So here's an example. Let me pull up a person, George Adams, and the, the, the typical typical kind of update flow is I've spoken to George, so I go up here and to add an update for George, and I enter some text. Okay, and um, if I choose to, I can expand this little box that you see here. And when I do that, it reveals the other things that I can relate this record to, including deals or to properties. So this is important. What this means is that you can leverage this one update uh, and, and it can appear in one or more deals. So let's say you're a, you're a landlord guy and you have a listing or listings and you speak to George, you could add a note that says something like, I spoke to George about the, my listing, he's looking for space, uh, I sent a brochure. Then you can go and relate that, to, relate that to 10 different deals if you want, and it will, it will basically appear in the, in the client report for every one of those different listings. So you get the idea here, one entry, multiple places of exposure. Same thing with properties. I can relate this to multiple properties, so when I go to that building, I always know who I've talked to about that property in the past. And, and down in the bottom left, you see share update with. This is an indication of who I can share and how I share this update. That, you, know, you can privatize it just to yourself. You can share it with a team if you're in a multi-team environment. Um, but it makes it really simple and easy for you to, to privatize things, even for fiduciary you know, purposes or requirements uh, in the way that you should be. All right, so here's some details. I've added this to uh, a deal, added some contact, I click add, and then you'll see it appear there down below my, um, my cursor. All right, let me show you the activities module just really quickly here. So we talked about the idea of you, you know, adding an update, scheduling the next thing for somebody. This is where all of your activities will appear. And there's two types, there's events, which are, are activities that have times associated with them. And, and you'll see that. I have a meeting at 11 a.m. on Wednesday uh, for a property tour. Conversely, tasks are activities that don't have times, they just have dates. I need to call John on Tuesday. Uh, and tasks might be something that you schedule, heck, you could schedule it years into the future. But the point is, client look keeps you on top of everything you're meant to do. And it does it by relating the task to the people and it shows you their phone number all in one place. Different from things like Outlook where you just pull up two o'clock and you type in some text and there's no real correlation to any record or contact. So this is a much more fully featured way of, of operating your business uh, and it really works well. Okay, let me tell you about Scoop now. So you've added updates you've completed activities, you and, and maybe a whole team worth of people, you've done these things. And one of the benefits of using a CRM is that, you know, ideally you can, you can get a kind of a macro understanding of all the activities you've completed. But no CRM really does that, except for Clownlet. So Scoop creates for you a feed of everything you do. Every call you make, every property tour you complete, Every email you receive or you send, it's all here. And you can scroll down the list and, and, and basically have a breadcrumb trail through in a, in a reverse chronological way of what you did day to day, hour to hour, um, for as long as you've been using ClientLux. Some of our subscribers have tens of thousands of things in, uh, in Scoop. And it's, it defaults to showing you your information but alternatively, you can choose 
to, to, to select any user that you have, a, you know, if you're in a team environment, any other user. So you can say, I'm interested in what, you know, uh, Tom Anderson did. And I can pull up Tom's completed stuff, provided he's shared it with me. Remember, this stuff all works because of the fact that CloudLook has this unique sharing capability. So now I can look at Tom's stuff and he's, you know, some stuff he's made visible, other things he's privatized, so it's great. Or I can choose all users. If I choose all users, it, it shows me the entire feed for my entire company. And I use this all the time to understand what's going on at CloudLook. So I can pull up Scoop, choose all users, and I can see every support call, sales call, meeting we've had, you know, across the entire organization in one place, and I can comment on things. So this is a way for me to stay informed about stuff, for me to help out on, on transactions and deals and support calls, and it's a way for us to communicate without sending emails all the time, because we get so many emails, um, or to have to meet on this regular basis and say, okay, Chuck, tell me what you've done. I don't have to do that. I can self-serve my need for information through Client Look this way. The other really great thing is that everything is searchable. So over time, the value of Scoop, the value of Client Look as this repository of information grows and grows and grows because of the fact that you can go up into the keyword search there, perform a query that says, I don't know, um, I know I talked to somebody who wanted five per thousand parking. You type in five per thousand in the keyword search and it will find every email update, whatever, that referenced that little you know, character string. Okay, so let's finish up here with marketing. And then I'm gonna jump in and show you some screens from our mobile app. So I alluded in a couple of places to this, this concept of integration with MailChimp. And uh, I, I wanna show you how that works and why, why it's a benefit. Now, we, we get nothing from MailChimp. This, this is not a ploy to help you or encourage you to, to subscribe to MailChimp. It's the first email system that we integrated with just because they had a good API and, and there were some really powerful tools. And there was a free version that, that, was, that was honestly uh, suitable for a lot of our subscribers, so we, so we went that path. So it's not to say we want to add other ones in the future, but this is the main one we work with now. So here's how it works. You're in ClientLook. You are able now to maintain all of your email lists in ClientLook. You don't have to worry about, oh, I have some contacts here and I have to push those contacts over to my email system. You know, it's, it's all here. You can also employ all the really robust searching that I alluded to in ClientLook to find super targeted lists. So pull up every industrial building on the west side that's over 50,000 square feet. Now, give me a list of all the owners of those properties. Bam, here's those people. Now you want to email to them. So, so these are all features so far that no email system can support. So once you've done that, you've, you've got your list of people. Under the options menu, you choose send MailChimp email. So this reveals to you the templates that you created in MailChimp. So you've got a flyer, you've got, I don't know, an email, just a basic text email, and you choose one. Then you've got this screen that asks you to indicate, all right, what's the subject of the email? Who do you want this to be from? Is it from you? Is it from your team? Is it from some other person in your office? You can relate it to this email to deals and the properties like I showed you a couple other places. And then when you're done, you just click send. You can even schedule this to go at a certain time. But here's what you get. So everybody sends emails. Everybody sends this sort of shotgun blast of marketing, and then they hope they get a reply to the email, or they hope they get a phone call. What few people do is to then, you know, sort of distill from the thousand people they email to, distill down those people they would consider prospects, and then to take some action, which is, which is a, an absolute valid way of working. But the problem is, is actually distilling the list down and then being able to identify those people that you would consider to be prospects. So ClientLook tries to help you do that. So it creates this marketing campaign for every email you send and you click on one. And up comes this list that shows you, okay, you know, here's the number of recipients, here's who opened, here's who clicked, here's who bounced, here's who unsubscribed. But it will show you in the people tab there, uh, the people by default that opened it. And we can change this and say, okay, I want to look at the clicks or you know whatever. But the point is this: we now have visibility 
into you know who we would consider to be prospects based on their activity with this email, their engagement. We have that now in client work, and I can click on a name and I can jump right to that person. If I look up a contacts record, remember Jessica, her marketing tab fills over time with her engagement to the stuff that I'm sending, which when I talk to her, I flip over to the marketing tab and I can quickly see, okay, she's clicking on my south side emails, but not my west side or, or whatever, um, or she's not opening them at all. So it, it's another indication of, you know, kind of a qualification. So these are all things that we're trying to do in a very special, innovative way to help you get more out of something that you're doing commonly all the time, but in a way that you know, is, is sort of funneled down into your CRM. Okay, this is the last thing I'll touch on, and then I'll tell you about our, our pricing. So uh, CloudLook's mobile app. So as I mentioned in the beginning, CloudLook is entirely mobile. It, it was designed to be mobile from the start, so you can access CloudLook on any mobile device, your phone, your tablet, whatever, anywhere, as long as you have internet access. We endeavored into the native app world where we created, uh, our first one was for iPhone, and uh, I'll give you a, a glimpse of it here. So, uh, in, in the first question we always get is, when's Android coming? It's coming later this year. So, this is our iPhone app, and it has been tremendously successful with thousands of downloads and, and lots of great feedback, and it is meant to be your entire business you know, in your pocket. Uh, everything just about that you can do in the web, you can do down here. You can even do things here that you can't do in the web. So this is a really great uh, prospecting tool, a really great uh, tool for staying engaged with everything that's going on while you're in the field, um, from the context to the properties to the deals you're working on. It's it's all here. It's all super easily accessible. It's super fast and uh, and very easy. So if you're an iPhone user, um, go in and download this now. The other great thing about this is that your clients can use it. They have sort of a skinny down version of this app, so when they log in, it only shows them you know, the deals that they're related to, but they can, they can use CloudLook and, and you can you know, spin that in your pitches. Hey, you're gonna have this mobile app that you can log into and, and engage with, uh, with, with the, you know, the transactions and the activities that we're building for you. Okay. So with all that said, here are the next steps for you. So if you're an existing client look user, uh, you can go up to our website. We've got lots of resources for continuing to learn how to do things. You can, so of course, call us with any training or, or questions. If you're not a client look user, I would suggest you, you go to our website, sign up for the free 21-day trial. Everything I've shown you, you can do. There's no limitation to that trial. You can use the virtual assistant. You can use the iPhone app. You can use everything. There's no obligation. Uh, you can go and sign up, and, and uh, uh, you can even have a, a tour from one of our sales professionals who will take you through and, and cut to the chase and show you everything you know that, that ClientLock has to offer. If you want to just go that route, down in the bottom left corner, you see sales at ClientLock.com. You can just send us an email, request a demo, and someone will call you and, and take you through the whole system. ClientLock pricing over on the right is, is really simple. We have basically three different options. The first of which is free. So let me tell you, let me tell you about the free option. So because we've been so successful in, in the market, because of the fact that, that, that a lot of our team came from the brokerage world, we, uh, we, we really want to help give back to new brokers in, in the industry. So we call this the you know, new to the business program. If you are a broker who has six months or less in the industry, you are a dedicated commercial person, you can gain access to ClientLook for free. So you go to our website, you sign up, and even after your six months is over, you'll get a discounted rate for, uh, for your subscription. So we understand you know, the, those first six months are tough, and uh, we wanna do our part to help launch your career the right way, and, and, and we have lots of experience with making people really successful uh, through our support and training. So if you're new to business, I would suggest you do that. If you are a company owner and you're looking to hire new people, this is this is the path. Give them client look for six months and that's how you vet them and, uh, and let us help them be successful. The two other options we have for, for uh, subscription are annual, which is effectively $69 uh, on an annual basis, $820, $80 a year. So you sign up, you pay up front, it's effectively $69 a month or 
$89 on a month-to-month -month basis. No obligation, cancel at any time, um, but, uh, but uh, that can all be done on our website. So um, I would encourage you to go and, uh, and get involved there. So Chuck, with all that said, what, um, what questions do, uh, do you have there or things that I might have missed? Chuck? Can you hear me? Now I can hear you, yep. Uh, gotcha. Um, well, we, you've covered a lot of it and we answered most things um, personally, but one of the ones that comes up over and over is, hey, how much does the virtual assistant cost? Well, that's a good question, but the virtual assistant service is free, except for KW Commercial folks, the special deal that we have at KW Commercial um, that's an optional service. Everybody at KW Commercial gets client look for free. So you, you've got that going for you. But if you want the virtual system, that's an additional um, fee, which you can find on your on your intranet there on your website. Excellent. Um, is there a limit to the amount of storage space in the system? No. So we get this question all the time too. You know, am I going to am I going to somehow hit a wall? And you're going to come at me with some big fee for you know storage? And no, there's. There's nothing hidden about client look. There's no hidden agenda here. This isn't a strategy to help get you in and then, you know, hit you with some big cost in the future. So no, there's no there's nothing you need to be aware of on the storage size that that uh that it's going to cost you any money. Great. And uh speaking of that, is there a you mentioned the online war room and clients would be able to log in and, and access stuff. Is there a charge for each of those clients to access the system? No, your clients access client look through your subscription for free and they have a kind of a light version of client look so simply based on the fact that you add them to the deal and check a little box uh, they will receive an email which basically creates an account for them or basically creates them access to your account uh, you can turn it off anytime with just a you know little checkbox but there's no there's no cost for that great uh, everything else we got to individually Great. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. We're going to be distributing this recording out, um, but I really appreciate you spending the last oh, hour with us. We hope to welcome you as Client Look subscribers very soon, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Have a wonderful day.